several videos of World War I Trey Cats and Cigarette Cats which were actually issued during the war. Unfortunately in World War II there were severe restrictions on the use of paper and card throughout the war and for many years afterwards known as rationing. You can literally count the number of card sets issued in World War II on your hands. But here is one of the most interesting ones. It's a set of industrial propaganda cards issued by Ardath in 1942 here in Great Britain. So what is propaganda? Well, propaganda in a nutshell is the act of persuading. But not just persuading one person round to your way of thinking. Potentially persuading thousands, if not millions. Of course, the huge advances in communications and mass media in the early 20th century turned propaganda into probably one of the most powerful tools on the planet. So it could be something as basic as me trying to convince you to watch my latest wonderful, amazing YouTube video on World War II propaganda cartoons. Or, in the case of this 18th century token, the aim was to end slavery, giving freedom to a huge proportion of the world population. Anyway, these cards are an example of propaganda as well. No prizes for guessing what they were for, to rid the world of an evil dictator like Hitler. Yeah! Which was a great thing, since ordinary people like me and you probably wouldn't be able to upload YouTube videos in the first place if he or someone like him was still in power now. However, propaganda has not always been used for good. Even now, it is difficult to understand why the assassination of one man led to the horrific deaths of millions of people in World War I, especially in our modern Western society, where we're all led to believe that we are all equal. I'm sure many of you have seen my amazing video of the miniature versions of World War I recruit, recruiting posters, which were issued by Wills in 1915. Those are quite tame compared with the more darker themes featured in the illustrations by Raymakers, which were included on cars issued by Carreras in 1916. Some say that the ruling elites misused World War I propaganda by actively stirring up racial hatred through the spreading of exaggerated half-truths and, in some cases, blatant lies. Artists like Raymakers certainly had a gift for dehumanising and demonising the German people. I don't know about you, but I've met a few Germans and they don't seem like a nation of raving psychopaths. So there must be something about propaganda that can persuade neighbours and friends to turn on each other and commit terrible atrocities. I think a clue for this can be found in Edward Bernays approach to propaganda. Edward Bernays of course is considered to be the father of propaganda. He realised that he could tap into people's primitive emotions and desires and manipulate them by using his uncle Sigmund Freud's psychoanalytic theories. Interestingly, after the war, he reused those same ideas to sell consumables to the masses, giving birth to the age of consumerism that we know so well today. So you could say that he is one of the unsung heroes of our modern world. Well, at least corporate advertising is less bloodthirsty than war. It seems the propaganda produced by Britain, America and their allies in World War I inspired the failed artist Adolf Hitler, who wrote in his uh, book Mein Camp, it was not until the war the war of course being World War I, that it became evident what immense results could be obtained by a correct application of propaganda. Here again, unfortunately, all our studying had to be done on the enemy side. Now when he says the enemy, of course, he means us, the British, Americans and our allies. 
Anyway, we should be grateful for to uh, propaganda like these cards for helping overthrow that evil tyrant. Yeah! It just seems a bit strange how it was the misuse of World War One propaganda that, at, along with the Versailles Treaty, of course, that probably created the monster in the first place. Anyway, long live media democracy and YouTube. Hello, YouTubians. Okay, just before I go, if you want to find out more about uh, propaganda and how governments, advertising agencies and corporations uh, control the masses, then uh, why not check out Edward Bernays' own book, uh, Propaganda, entitled Propaganda. I've got loads of notes in there. <laughs> Look at all those post-its. And if you want to find out about the principles of influence, why not check out Influence, The Psychology of Persuasion. I'll put all the um, the names of the books and the authors in the description so that you can uh, check them out on Amazon or uh, wherever. Get them sick. In fact, it'd be cheaper if you got them second hand. Here's an interesting book, Age of uh, Propaganda. There's a few little golden nuggets in there to help you to uh, promote your own YouTube channel. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye for now. If you'd like to find out more about this particular item or other such items, please feel free to pop by my website at creamofcards.com. Oh no, I'm afraid we've run out of time. But just before you go, please leave comments up below. And if you'd like to see more amazing video clips like this, subscribe to the track. By clicking on the icon, up in the sky, a Creole Cards TV.